Masa bezu. Tuwa la zomosha. Tuwa la zomosha la zomshobe. Ndiya bingelela kumakumbi ongwe omshaba. Na huzo zongi ndaola ni akona. Greetings to all of you wherever you are all over the world. In this unprecedented period of COVID-19 pandemic. I hope I find you well in this troubling time. I come to you in these difficult times to address you on two important issues. Firstly, here in South Africa, the month of March is known as Human Rights Month and of course the day itself. Hence, we had an idea of um, commemorating the Matavela Land genocide that we had planned for Peria Park on the 21st of March. But we couldn't do it due to the coronavirus pandemic that is currently disrupting our livelihood. We as people will always remember our beloved that was savagely killed in the 1980s for reasons unbeknown to us, other than being Debele, of course. It pains us to see the government playing hide and seek on a very, very pertinent issue uh, to the people of Matabele land. It is common sense that we have to genuinely address the genocide issue. We need to speak to the needs of, our, of the survivors and not private entities that are fundraising on this, on this matter. We believe a time will come when we will see perpetrators being brought to book. We believe a time will come when our people will be free to practice their own cultural rituals and epithets. It is a stubborn fact that this Kukurahundi genocide issue has caused this curse we see upon our, our land. Therefore, it is for the good of all of us to deal with this matter sincerely once and for all. Fellow men and women, we realize the many challenges that we face as a people, the latest being this coronavirus, for an example. I pray that in all of this, we come through victorious and at the end, get a chance to build our nation by restoring our culture of Ubuntu, which we inherited from our forefathers, who were not just warriors, but pioneers who built this rainbow to a Gazi nation we have today. I kindly ask that we please obey the rules and regulations of the countries in which we live in, that are meant to help us curb the spread of this deadly disease. We look forward to normal life again after this deadly phase has passed. Please, all of you, you must know how valuable you are to our torn nation. Each of you sitting at home are important in the building of the future of our nation. Hence the need to work with us in this regard and take care. Today is the second day of the lockdown of our Tawazi nation. It is the fifth day here in South Africa. Various measures are being implemented in various countries in the diaspora where our people are. I therefore urge you to obey authority by ensuring that you and your loved ones comply with the regulations promulgated and directed at the directed stages of the developments around the COVID-19, be it the lockdown, the quarantine, the self-isolation, and other measures during this period until the storm is over. Continuously seek reliable information and follow guidelines and best practices to protect yourself and those around you. Seek guidance and protection from the Almighty through all your religious beliefs and, of course, your customs. We know there are many of our people who are faced with difficulties of one kind or the other. I know that there are many who do not have access to financial resources because they may be unemployed. Those who have not been paid by their employers, for example, or have just lost their jobs lost their job from this or any other reason. Those who continue to live in dire poverty, those who live far away from shops, or those who did not get their salaries on time, or could not find anything on the shelves, or afford to buy essentials and sustain themselves during and after the lockdown period. In the great African spirit of Ubuntu, I urge and ask those that have to find uh, ways and means to share with those that do not have. Let's care and assist those most vulnerable in our communities and neighborhoods. I know that there are many who rely on remittances from relatives across the globe. Those who rely on groceries sent through Omalaisha, for an example, who may struggle during this period. May you find ways and means open for you to continue to be sustained throughout. To those infected or affected, I wish them speedy recovery. 
and to take all the measures um, uh, to, 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 not to infect other people by observing and following prescribed measures. Please protect yourselves and all those around you. To those who are on national duty and providing essential services in hospitals, shops, pharmacies, law enforcement, the army, and all um, other essential services sectors. May you conduct your duties with, uh, with uh, diligence, care, love, patriotism, uh, humanity, and take care of yourselves for your personal safety and well-being of our nation and humanity. Way forward, this is a moment that helps to reconnect with the nuclei of our society which is in the value of the family unit. Let's use it to reflect and reconnect with our identity, our culture, our values, our customs and traditions, our people, our nation and humanity at large. Let's use this time to reflect as individuals, families and society. Not one to, we cannot do it for ourselves, but for our people and our country and our humanity. Let's use this period to reflect on the future we want to build, the society, the nation, and country we would like to live in in future. This time is to build a sense of oneness and a unity amongst our people. These moments are crucial to be united, to defeat all forces of catastrophes to face our people. Let us use this moment to think about solutions to our issues and problems. Let us harness the technology, the resources, and our intellect and expertise seek solutions to shape our future. Let us come up with social and business solutions and ideas to sustain us and the rest of humanity. This is a moment where all of us are given an opportunity to think, to innovate, to be creative and inventive. Let us use it wisely. I'd like to also spare a moment to share our deepest condolences during this difficult uh, global moment. I would like to pass my condolences to Chief Kaisa Niweli and his family on their loss of Ukoko Maso, whom I visited at every opportunity, Mami Sekai. Her warmth, her love, her wisdom will always be treasured by us. May her soul rest in eternal peace. My condolences to all of you who have lost your loved ones. Your losses are not only you, yours alone. They are ours as a nation at large. Lala ngemweba lidutuzeke. See you on Thursday morning. Have a pleasant evening and a pleasant rest of quarantine time. Thank you.